This super easy to tie foam beetle may not look like much, but it's one of my favorite patterns for the late summer and early fall. Let it land with a splat beneath overhanging vegetation, give it a little twitch or two, and if there's a fish there, chances are you'll get a take. For a hook, a Dairiki number 730 in size 14 is a good choice. For tying thread, don't be afraid to go a little heavy. Here, I'm using 140 denier black ultra thread. Get your thread started on the hook shank, leaving some space behind the eye, and take a few wraps rearward before snipping off the tag. Standard black 2mm craft foam is used to form the beetle's back and head. I've found that quarter inch widths are just about perfect and that a paper cutter produces nice consistent strips. Lay one of the foam strips on top of the hook shank at the tie-in point and take a good firm wrap to anchor it. The foam will want to fight you a bit, but don't take no for an answer. You'll eventually get it under control. Take nice tight wraps that compress the foam all the way back to the start of the hook bend. Continue taking wraps up and back until most all of the foam on the hook shank is compressed. End with your thread back at the hook bend. Although there are many materials you can use to represent the beetle's legs, I really like the look of plain old black saddle hackle. Find a feather that isn't overly webby and has some good straight stiff fibers. Snip off the base of the stem where the fluffy webby stuff begins. Then strip about a half inch of fibers from both sides of the stem. Place it on the near side of the hook and secure it with several turns of tying thread. For the beetle's undercarriage, the texture and iridescence of natural peacock hurl just can't be beat. Pull three or four strands from the strung bundle and snip off about two inches of the brittle tips. Secure the hurl to the hook shank as you did with a saddle hackle and end with your thread all the way back at the bend of the hook. Leaving your thread in this position, get hold of the hurls and begin making adjacent wraps up the hook shank, being careful not to break them on the sharp hook point. The thread should hold the hurls back and together as you wrap. When you reach the bare hook shank, tie them off with two or three good wraps of tying thread. Then snip the excess hurl off close. You can take a few more wraps of tying thread to cover the ends if needed. With hackle pliers, get hold of the tip of the saddle hackle and begin making open spiral wraps over the peacock curl toward the hook eye. Three or four wraps should do it. Secure the hackle tip with three or so turns of tying thread and then snip it off close. To avoid clogging the eye, sweep the hackle fibers rearward and take thread wraps to hold them back. Then preen the fibers that are sticking up, back, and down before folding the foam over the back of the fly. Pull the foam forward and while holding it securely, make three full wraps with your tying thread. Then, using a good bit of thread tension, take a few more tight wraps to really anchor the foam in place. Pick up your tying scissors and snip the foam off, leaving about an eighth of an inch head over the hook eye. This beetle floats well, but low in the water, making it difficult to see. A small cider punched from a bright sheet of foam does wonders for increasing the fly's visibility. Tie the cider in right where you left your tying thread. A few tight wraps are all that's needed. Get hold of your whip finish tool and do a five or six turn whip finish before snipping off the thread on the underside of the fly. If you like, you can round the edges of the head off just a bit. Flip the beetle over and trim off all the hackle fibers that point straight down. They should be trimmed off flush with the peacock curl. You can leave the remaining fibers long, but I think the fly looks better with them trimmed off fairly close. Finally, Apply a liberal amount of head cement to the thread wraps just behind the eye, being careful not to fill the eye with cement in the process. And that's all there is to making a simple foam beetle. They work well and are an absolute blast to fish.